The story of Andrew Tate and his journey to Islam. A kickboxer, YouTuber, prominent celeb, and motivational speaker, Andrew Tate has been making headlines for quite a while, and now the world is curious to know about his decision to become a Muslim. Hello and welcome to the Peak Performance channel. If you like this kind of content, then be sure to smash the thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Well, former Big Brother contestant Andrew Tate has been all over social media in recent weeks. You would be surprised to know that while platforms like TikTok can host fun challenges and dance routines, they also host some trends for famous people, and Andrew Tate has been dubbed for the content he posts. Do you want to know more about him and how he became Muslim? Let's explore! Who is Andrew Tate exactly? Andrew Tate was born on December 14, 1986. He is 35 years old and was born and raised in Washington, D.C., in a well-established Christian family. He is of British-American descent and follows the Islamic faith. He finished his primary education at a school in Washington, D.C., United States. His parents both worked for him to have a better life. A deterioration in his situation forced him to flee England and start a new life, albeit one without his father. But then he started his hustle to make his dreams come true. He is now known as a social media influencer, a former kickboxer, and the founder of Hustlers University, an online community that claims to teach its students how to get rich quickly by sharing tips on cryptocurrency, stocks, affiliate marketing, and copywriting. Andrew Tate was born in Chicago and is a British American. He is the son of chess champion Emery Tate and a commentator for Real Extreme Fighting, Romania's largest MMA promotion. Tate grew up in Luton, but now resides in Romania. Tate has been in the public eye for some time, but his profile has recently skyrocketed. He reportedly has 4 million Twitter followers, 4.7 million Instagram followers, and 768,000 YouTube subscribers, and videos tagged with his name have been viewed billions of times. He's also been banned from a number of these platforms, even though his content and his name draws huge attention. Why is he so famous? Andrew Tate rose to prominence as a contestant on the 17th season of Big Brother UK in 2016. However, he was kicked out of the Big Brother house after offensive tweets he sent went viral and an explicit video of him hitting a woman with a belt surfaced. Tate and the woman have both denied any abuse and do not condone any abuse. Tate had made a name for himself in the kickboxing world before his time on Big Brother. According to his website, he won his first ISKA kickboxing title in 2009 and is a four-time ISKA kickboxing world champion. Since then, he has gained notoriety on social media for his extreme views, and he has appeared as a guest on a few podcasts, including Infowars, which is hosted by far-right conspiracy theorist Alex Jones. The Beginning of His Career Andrew Tate began his professional kickboxing career in April 2009, when he won the International Sport Karate Association English Lightweight Championship against Raul Randall. That was his very first belt, but he didn't stop there. He also won the British Cruiserweight title in 2009, knocking out Daniel Hughes in the first round. Andrew was defeated by Sahak Parparian in the Showtime 85 Max Championship on points. In December 2012, he competed in Enfusion, Trial of the Gladiators, to determine the best kickboxer in the world in his weight class. Andrew Tate made it to the finals but was knocked out in the first round by a flying knee to the chin. Tate would face kickboxing veteran Wendell Roche a few years later in June of 2014. Andrew was only one of two fighters to knock out Roche after winning the second round. He won the Infusion World Championship at 90 kilograms. Tate would lose his championship two years later in December 2016 with a first round knockout. It would be his last fight until 2020 when he would return to compete in KO Masters 7 in Bucharest, Romania, where he now resides. This was his final fight and he won by knockout in the first round. He faced Miralem Ahmedi at KO Master 7 and knocked him out in the first round. In 2020, he certified Jake Paul as boxing regulatory compliant. Andrew Tate made an additional offer of $3 million to Jake Paul and made his net worth upscale. How did he make all his money? Andrew Tate has a reported net worth of $350 million. 
Yes, you heard it right. One thing that is famous about Andrew Tate is his money. Andrew Tate made his money through his kickboxing career, cryptocurrency investments, and Hustlers University, which costs $50 per month. He also co-founded a casino chain with his brother Tristan Tate and runs a private members club for which membership costs more than £4,000. Tate claimed to be a trillionaire during a Twitch stream with well-known streamer Aiden Ross. I don't want to brag, but I'm the world's first trillionaire, he said. I made my first million when I was 27, and by the time I was 30, I had 100 million. Well, it's not proven that he's a trillionaire as of yet, but he claims it anyway. Some of the businessmen that made him prosperous include his hustlers university, casino business, management company, and collaborations. His YouTube journey. Tate's first YouTube video was published in 2018 on the Tate Speech channel in which he and his brother discuss gun control and argue against additional restrictions. Following that, a new video titled Tate on Women Episode 2 was released. A clip from his appearance on the Your Mom's House podcast in which he reveals what men truly desire received over 2.5 million views in 5 months, while a video in which Tate interviews a psychologist received over 1.2 million views in a year. Tate's Controversies The famous kickboxer rose to prominence in 2016 after being eliminated from Big Brother's 17th season. This happened after a video surfaced in which he appeared to belt a woman. He tweeted in 2017 that depression is not a legitimate illness. Unfortunately, his remark was met with strong criticism, and three of his Twitter accounts were suspended. His record and award. As you all know by now, Tate began his professional kickboxing career in 2009. Tate went on to challenge Paul Randall for the vacant ISKA English kickboxing light cruiserweight title. His opponent ended the match in the fifth round. He also won the first championship belt of his career. He won his second title, the ISK World Full Contact Light Cruiserweight title. He avenged his 2011 defeat to Vincent Petit Jean in the match held in Chateau Renard, France. He has also had a number of notable victories in the sport. He also has a respectable boxing record of 4, 3, and 0 with 3 knockouts. Andrew Tate competed in the British Cruiserweight Championship on several occasions in 2008 and 2009. He defeated Paul Randall in a fight for the ISKA English Light Cruiserweight title in 2009. His first victories were the belt and the championship. Throughout the years, he continued to compete and win numerous championships and titles in kickboxing, including the International Kickboxing Federation's British Cruiserweight title and the ISKA Light Heavyweight World Championship. His loss in the 2012 85 Max Championship match was disappointing. Despite losing in the finals, he competed in Infusion 3, a competition to find the world's best 85 kg kickboxer. Tate came back stronger than ever in 2014, winning the championship. How did he become a Muslim? The former kickboxer previously described Islam as the world's last true religion and he has now confirmed that he is a Muslim after a video of him praying in a mosque went viral. Tate, a self-described success coach, announced on Getter one of his last remaining social media accounts. This is why I became a Muslim. Any Christian who believes in good and recognizes the true nature of the battle against evil must convert. So be patient because Allah's promise is true. Quran 3060, he wrote. In the viral video, he can be seen praying in a mosque alongside Hollywood actor and MMA fighter Tam Khan. Praise be to God for receiving widespread interaction and the admiration of thousands of followers, Khan captioned the video on social media. He vouched for Tate and explained the reasons for his conversion in a lengthy comment. Brother Andrew is sincere, and his heart belongs to Islam. Please allow me to clarify a few points. Why did I film us praying? Because it helps to post positivity, Tate says, emphasizing that this is the first time he has prayed. The 35-year-old influencer began the debate by declaring Islam to be the last true religion on the planet and added, I believe it is the world's last religion. I believe it is the final religion. So if it's the world's last religion, it has to be the right one. It is the last religion because no other religion enforces boundaries. 
Tolerating everything means standing for nothing. If your book says X, but you refuse to say it says this, I'll go with the book. Isn't it irrelevant what the subject is? I don't want to broaden. He even talked about the disrespect and people lashing out at the Islamic religion. Andrew Tate stated in a podcast that people will not openly disrespect Islam. He justified his feelings by saying, people don't stand up and openly disrespect Islam because they're afraid. So once again, if you don't have rule systems and doctrines and beliefs and prophets, which people are afraid to mock, are you even a religion? People won't disrespect Islam. Nobody will disrespect it because they're scared. Even in a Christian country, I mean disrespect it by saying something disrespectful. If you can walk around, if you can wear a t-shirt saying Jesus is gay right here in Croatia, a Christian country and you will make it out of the country alive. Andrew could have said no because he knows it will exacerbate his already contentious situation on social media, but he did it himself. It was a special visit to the mosque by God. It was only he and I who wanted it. We had planned it for days, but he reminded me to go today, Khan said. I'm glad we did this so that people could see the real him. And this was his first time in the mosque, and what a way to start his journey. As we went to the mosque on Saturday night to pray, and I spoke at length about the Quran, Hadiths, and the actions of the Prophet Muhammad, may God's prayers and peace be upon him, and misconceptions about Islam, and so on. He emphasized that what they did was a way to encourage young children not to be ashamed of their religious beliefs and prayers. We agreed that it shouldn't be shown on a podcast or anything else, because people would claim it was for influence or a fake following. No one is perfect, but thank God he has a good heart and pure intentions, Khan said. To sum up, Andrew Tate is a well-known American kickboxer, entrepreneur, and pundit who roasts prominence as a three-time ISKA world champion as well as an infusion champion. He is an example of true passion, resilience, and hustle. He made his dreams come true, rose to prominence, and now he has hit the audience with another piece of breaking news about becoming a Muslim. That said, what do you think about the life story of Andrew Tate? Comment down and don't forget to share this video with everyone. Let's get some inspiration. See you in the next one. Keep watching and staying tuned for more until then.